we're learning about the three forms of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. And we tested a balloon over an open flame and found that if it was just inflated with air from our lungs, that it popped in a couple seconds. And in this test, we have a balloon that's partially filled with water. There's a little bit of water at the bottom there. And it's filled the rest of the way with air. And we wanna find out if a water balloon will pop over an open flame. So I'm over here with table five. And I'm gonna look at your water balloon here. I can see a little water there. And we've got an oil burner, so oh, we're gonna no. light that. When it's right underneath our balloon. Now, do you guys predict that it'll pop or? I don't think take it'll pop. Take a little pop. Take a little to Well, okay, let's find out. Now, you guys jump back. Let's take a closer look at that, Kiwani. I'm attracted. It looks like that flame is right under the balloon. And it's not popping. It doesn't look like it's popping. Abby, where do you think the fire is going? To the balloon, to the air, or to the water? I think it's going to the balloon. Well, if it was going to the balloon, don't you think that that stretched rubber would pop really quick? I think it's I going think it to the water. water. Okay, what water. kind of heat transfer moves through water? Is that conduction, convection, or radiation? What kind is that? Uh, radiation. Or convection. Convection. Oh, convection. Radiation is the flame. That's the heat around the flame that you feel. So you're right, Jaden, there is, there is radiant heat here from, from the flame itself, but it's moving to that water and that's why your balloon is still inflated. Let's check another. And here I am with table two, and they want to find out if their water balloon will pop over an open flame, or if the water in there through, uh, through convection will slow down that heat from the, from the, the fire. So, I see the water moving. It, yeah, so let me ask you here, um, Sean, what kind of heat is coming off the flame? You got Radi three forms. What radiation? kind? Radiation. Radiation is coming <laughs> off the flame. And convection is going to the water. Wait, what? Yeah, and so what? when heat moves yeah. through water, Matthew, what's that called? What did he just say? When heat moves through water? Convection. Convection, convection. right. So if the heat was just going to the balloon, it probably would have popped by now. So we know that heat moves, doesn't it? Yeah, let's leave that and see how long it can be underneath that balloon without popping. Oh. Here we are with table one. They're doing their balloon test for heat transfer. We're learning about convection, conduction, and radiation. We're going to light your burner here. And we're going to see if that affects whether or not your balloon pops, if it has a little bit of water inside. You can see just a little water in there. Eli, do you think that heat is traveling to the balloon or to the water? Um, water. To the water. And what do you call heat transfer through a liquid? What's that called? Um, it's called... Is that conduction or convection? Um, convection. Convection. Good job. And here I am with table three. And it looks like you've got something around your neck, Quentin. What's around your neck? Bickles! Is that Bickles the ball python? Look at that. And you're just wearing that snake right in the middle of class, aren't you? That is awesome. We're learning about heat transfer, and we've got a test here with a water balloon, and it's going to be over an open flame. Do you see a little bit of water in there? Do you guys think it'll pop if it's got fire right underneath no. it? No. 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 Seems like it should. Oh, the fire is so, like, big -ish. So what kind of heat transfer is an open flame? Hottie, what kind of heat transfer is that? Is it convection, is it convection. conduction, convection. or radiation? No, convection. convection. Radi radiation is... Quentin out. says... Yeah, radi radiation. Because it's so fire. That's fire. Because it's fire, yeah. So you have radiant heat, just the warmth you feel from a flame. That's radiation. But when it moves through the water in the balloon, what's that called? Convection. Yeah, Hottie. Convection. Because convection. Yes, hot air is touching the cold air. Do you think convection in the water, do you think that's slowing down how hot the balloon gets? Yes. yes. Maybe yes. that's why it's not popping. And here we are with table four, and they're going to do their heat transfer test. Who do you have around you, Anaya? Sweet pea. 
Sweet Pea the Milk Snake. Look at you, Sweet Pea. She's such a good helper, isn't she? We're gonna do our transfer, heat transfer test with a water balloon here. And Nazreen, can you tell me one of the forms of heat transfer? There's three kinds we talked about today. Conduction. Conduction. What's another one, Kaylee? Convection. Convection. And what's another one, Anaya? Radiation. Radiation. So let's see. Now, what kind of heat transfer is happening? Kaylee, what kind of heat transfer is that? Say it louder. Convection. Convection. So not all the heat is going right to the balloon, is it? No. Some of it's going to maybe that water inside the balloon. Good job, Kaylee.